and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Well Body Podcast with me, Samantha Hale. This episode is brought to you by my free Well in 10 ebook, which is available via my website, www.thewellbody.co.uk, and it includes three guided wellness rituals to align your mind, your body and your soul. Plus you get a roadmap in there as well to help you design your very own wellness ritual. Head on over to thewellbody.co.uk now, hit the subscribe button and it will go straight to your inbox. Today I want you to ask yourself this question. How can I show up in the world as my truest self? As we know, the yamas are abstinences or restraints, and the niyamas are observances. It can be easy and somewhat natural to look at the abstinences or the yamas from a lack mindset. And so I invite you to shift over to a more positive mindset as we look at the yamas in more depth and ask yourself, how can I take this one step further when applying it to my own life? The second of the yamas is satya. Satya is a Sanskrit word that means honesty, integrity or truthfulness. And once again, I'm going to invite you to delve deeper with me by identifying what this means to you both in your heart and in your soul. When we think about being honest and living with integrity, we accept that we must do so by first practicing ahimsa and inviting peace into our hearts. If you missed last week's episode where we dug a little bit deeper in regards to Ahimsa, I encourage you to go and listen to them before continuing with this particular episode because it will give you the foundations that you'll need um, to better understand the meaning of Satya and how we can apply it as well. When we think about it, our thoughts become our words, our words become our actions, right? So, in order to practice truthfulness with others, we first have to practice it with ourselves and to do so with kindness, with peace, ahimsa. Think about how you speak to your body, for example. Do you speak to it with love and honesty as well? Or do you judge your own body and as a result, find yourself judging others without even really realizing it? Do you offer your truth with ease when partaking in conversations and reject other people's truth just as easily? Do you maintain an open heart and mind when your beliefs are challenged? Or are you so anchored and attached to your own belief system that you unconsciously lose out on the opportunity to grow and expand your horizons? As we know, all change starts within the mind. So I invite you to consider facing that hard truth that you might have been avoiding recently and to do so with kindness and an open heart. Bring yourself to a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Draw your attention to your physical body and notice how it feels for you right now in this moment. Now take notice of your breath. Is it shallow? Is it in your chest? Have you been holding your breath without realising? How does it feel? We're going to practice a pranayama technique called Sama Vritti breath. This is where we breathe in and out through the nose in equal measure. This pranayama technique is really soothing for the mind, it grounds the body and it stabilises our soul. As you breathe in through the nose, 
direct your breath, direct your focus to the area of the body that you noticed a moment ago. And as you exhale, allow that residual energy to settle at that part of your body. Let's give it a try. Take a deep breath in through the nose for a count of one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Again, inhale through the nose for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale through the nose for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Do this four more times at your own pace. Come back to your breath. Notice how your body feels now. How does it feel different? How do you feel different? Open your eyes when you're ready and feel free to journal what thoughts, feelings and emotions came up for you during this pranayama exercise. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found this episode helpful and informative and I hope you enjoyed the guided pranayama exercise at the end as well. I'll see you on Wednesday when we'll be looking at how we can apply satya to our everyday lives together. Stay well. Bye.